Dear photographers, today I will show you something stunning. How to modify your real photo using the just released Midjourney Describe feature. That feature has been released two days ago. I played around with it and I will show you now how you can use it to modify your photos. Please take two seconds time to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it so far. It would mean a lot to me and it will keep me motivated to dig further into this giant rabbit hole that is AI tool. So to introduce you to the power of the new describe feature, let's just run an example on a famous picture. Here you see a famous picture from Bresson where the person jumps over the water and now I would try to use the describe feature which analyzes the picture and gives you four possible prompts to create variations of that picture. You can click on the options one, two, three or four to run those prompts or you can also copy paste one of the prompts and modify it the way you want so uh, to get closer to the results you are looking for. I did run those prompts and here are a couple of results. It tries to recreate the flare of that image without have, making an exact copy. And you can keep playing around, modifying the text so to, you, to get the, to the real results. Often you get quite funny results. For example, here with uh, the two girls, uh, with one girl having three legs. And uh, <laughs> on that next picture, you see a leg missing on one of the girls. But uh, you just have to play around and be consistent and then it, you will get to the result you want. And now let's come to the real interesting part for us photographers. We often take many images and we know well that most of the images are not really good and not really representative of the message we wanted to get out. And usually you throw away those images and that's it. With AI tools, you have now the power to use those images and improve them. Of course, they're normal real photos. They will become AI generated images, but you can use a photo to get something interesting out of it. I will show you an example. This morning I took a photo of an empty cup on my table. I took it with my Sony A7R5 and my ultimate goal was to add cappuccino inside that cup. So first of all, I used the Midjourney Describe feature to upload my real photo. So Midjourney now gave me four prompts that want to reconstruct the flare of that image. If I run it, I get those kind of images. And there are a couple of things that are noticeable. First, uh, often it doesn't give me the real high angle view of the original image. So when I rerun the prompt, I modified it so to add the word high angle. I also want a cappuccino inside. So I said like high angle and cappuccino inside the cup so that it adds the cappuccino and to get even closer to the original image. Also inserted the URL link to my real image so that Midjourney is trained on that image to create as close as possible the image with cappuccino inside, with high angle view and with the same kind of flare. And this is the final result. You see the white cup with cappuccino inside, the wooden table, the shadow. And if I compare the two images, you see it's quite impressive how close it is. There are of course a couple of differences like the handle, but you can uh, modify those images further, changing the prompt, rerunning the prompt, and you will get even better results. But you see the potential now of those AI tools that you can take real photos, add, remove elements into it and you can really play around for a long time and create some stunning imagery. I think in one year from now it will be perfectly normal for every photographer to use AI tools to improve and modify your original photo. I know you are upset. It's something that did upset me too because what gets lost is the authenticity of a photo. Um, but to be honest, that authenticity was already lost through uh, many steps in the past, like the switch from analog to digital, then the switch to workflows like Adobe Photoshop. I personally know many photographers that are bad photographers, but are wonderful photoshoppers and they create stunning images out of not so good photos. So AI is just a culmination of that trend. And maybe now that it becomes clear that AI tool can create um, real, great, creative, interesting imagery, um, maybe also the value of real, analogic, authentic photography will raise in time. If you're a photographer, you have to learn those AI tools 
to understand how powerful they are, how to understand how to use them for your business, because maybe it will influence your business no matter if you like it or not. And if you don't learn it, you will like stay behind uh, of your competition. Um, so this is the goal of my channel to uh, teach you about those tools so that you can use them for your work. Uh, if you think that's important, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button to not miss any of my upcoming AI videos. And that's it as of today. I see you soon.